And welcome, welcome everyone to our Black Friday Cyber Monday live stream here on the Manic Geek. So happy you could all tune in for this today. Now, I know that you all are probably, if you're in the States, in the middle of your Thanksgiving feasts, you got friends and family around you. This is just your little uh, momentary escape from all that. I've personally got some stuff going on here as well. Even got my stream beer on hand. We are drinking La Bay Sauvage from Freem Family Brewers. This is a Huckleberry Sour Ale. It's got notes of, oddly enough, pineapple and lemon in it rather than uh, tasting like berries. It's really good stuff, but that's keeping me occupied and comfy now. I apologize if it sounds like I'm gonna be lightning rounding all of this, uh, but we have a lot to cover and even less time to cover it all in. Now, if you are just joining in now, welcome. If you're watching this for the VOD, down in the VOD's description, the video description, we've got the links for everything we touched on in today's video. Keep in mind, some of these sales are active right now and actually have been for a few days. So you're gonna wanna take advantage of these as and when you can if the money presents itself to you. Before we jump in, I do want to preface, please be thoughtful and responsible with your spending, especially around this time of year. A lot of people are feeling some kind of way, one way or another. It's easy to get wrapped in the notion that spending will be a cure-all for how you're feeling right now. As long as you're able to meet all of your other financial obligations, you spend your money on what you want to spend it on. But be thoughtful about these purchases. Remember, folks, they're just keyboards after all. So. With all of that out of the way, and we'll touch on it again at the end, we are gonna go ahead and jump right in. Again, the links are down in the stream's description if you wanna follow along at home. We are gonna jump right into Stupid Bullets Tech, a local vendor. I love shining the spotlight on these guys. Love ordering through them, uh, really great service. Let me just double check that the audio is looking good here. Yes, we are. So. This particular part of this isn't necessarily a sale, but if you remember a short we uploaded a little while back on the Gazoo U4T-X half Fox switch, those are now a thing, and they are now in stock at Stupid Bullets Tech. Uh, again, the links are down in the video's description. Uh, this is a semi-silent, uh, heavy tactile switch that provides you with uh, a Focky deep uh, bottom out sound thanks to the length and stem pole and then it silences at the top out so this is a more premium switch but if this feels even remotely close to what the prototype version of the switch felt like these are outstanding out of the box definitely going to want to take a look at these on top of that they are also having an interesting color coded sale going on 25 percent off of all black colored components now this uniquely includes Oil King Linears, which are a, uh, a factory lube gator on switch. Uh, if you like a heavier feeling, stupidly smooth linear, these are a fine choice, but I would be thoughtful, <coughs> excuse me, about using these in conjunction with stabilizers or caps that you know to be sensitive to things like stem wobble, because there is a little bit of that in my experience with Oil Kings. Again, your mileage may vary, this may be a batch thing, but also any black colored stabilizers on their website will also get 25% off, as well as Gazoo housing components. That's right, if you wanted to Frankenstein your own switch together and you really like Gazoo housings, but you don't wanna necessarily ruin a perfectly good stock Gazoo switch, you can buy base black components for the bottom housing and the top housing, or if you wanna go RGB compatible and pay the full price, you can go with the clear no slot top housings as well. But these are perfect housings for making especially really snappy, responsive Franken switch tactile switches. Or if you want a really firm feeling linear, these are also a great housing to go with. Again, 25% off. That sale is going on now through November 28th. Next up, and this one is going to be probably the biggest overall sale of the bunch. KVD fans, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I have followed this particular sale <clears throat> for the past several years that I've been in the hobby. It's always a banger, and this year they're kicking it up by also kickstarting three different keyboard group buys, and all of them look extremely spicy. We're gonna focus a little bit more on these in a moment. But, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we're going to start off just by saying 
I will not be able to touch on everything that is involved in this sale. This is stupidly expansive and it ranges from basically everything they sell. So let's jump into these group by keyboards because these are all really interesting in their own way and exhibit a, a sort of unified evolution of something that was started with the Tiger TKL and the Tiger Lite, uh, at least by my reckoning. So. The first group buy we've got going is what they're calling the Tofu Junior at $189. This is encroaching very firmly on what I would consider mid-range territory as a bare bones hot swap mechanical keyboard, but this evolves over the Tofu in a very critical way. Not just in appearance, because as you'll see in some of the images here, there is a bottom weight option that you can add to this case, but more critically, this board transitions to utilizing either top mount or gasket mount. And not just any gasket mount, we're talking about the silicone gasket foot mounting system that is so excellently executed in the Tiger Lite, which as a matter of fact is the keyboard we are currently using right now. So this particular gasket mounting system implements basically little silicone nubbins that go onto the end of the plate. And we'll be doing a proper review of this keyboard in the near future. This board provides an excellent amount of flex in the typing experience and a genuinely soft bottom mount, basically no matter what switch you're using. But what's unique about this particular implementation is you can also do top mount with it. And that's because they've introduced mounting positions on the plate to allow it to mount to the top of the case. So you have your pick of how you want the typing feel and sound to work with this keyboard. You've also got a plethora of foams at your disposal. It does have per key RGB lighting. You also have the option of several different soft, really, really attractive colorways. Personal favorites of mine are either the dark red or the dark purple with honorable mentions going to dark blue and the gray. The pastels are really nice too. If you've got a brighter, more vibrant uh, cap set in your inventory you want to work with. Hey, how's it going, Tenor Madness? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. And Shining Vlad, uh, yes, I, I do recognize who you are, brother. It's good to see you again. Uh, hope today's been treating you well. Hope everything's been going well down there with you and yours. Um, anyway, just jumped into the deals and we're talking about the Tofu Junior. Most interesting thing aesthetically is the stainless steel PVD coated weight that you have the option in getting in one of four different colorways. This laser looking colorway down here, by the way, is absolutely the one I would personally gravitate towards. Almost more interesting is the plate options here. Now, not only do we have this excellent gasket mount system that KBD fans is using in all, basically it appears to be all of their boards going forward um, <clears throat> and was implemented really well in the Tiger Light, but we have four different plate materials to pick from here, including FR4 with all of the relief cuts palm and polycarbonate with interestingly none of the relief cuts and a black PVD brass weight. This is going to look really sick. Either this or polycarbonate would be my pick if you want maximum RGB effect. Polycarbonate will give you the softest typing feel, lean into the deepest, most plasticky sound while giving you more diffused overall RGB lighting, while the black PVD brass is gonna give you this sort of shimmer off of the plate between the caps that while it's not gonna be noticeable from a distance, you being close to this thing are absolutely going to notice it. This will also get you a very stiff but really unique sounding typing experience. As far as flex cuts in the board itself for the PCB, you only have the one relief cut here. That actually bodes really well for both feel and sound, especially considering this is a 1.2 millimeter thick PCB, so it is a thinner PCB. We're also dealing with a relatively short front height, decent typing angle here at seven degrees. That's about as steep as I personally like to go. A really comfy, familiar 65% layout, and the rest of the details will be, uh, again, uh, accessible through the Black Friday Cyber Monday link here. Quick look at the Odin 75, the second group by keyboard to go live on Black Friday. This is starting at $319, and this is an iteration off of the existing Odin board that they have in 1800 flavor, 
only this one brings it down to 75 in a really unique fashion. Now, we do have access to five different colors here, six different colors, I'm sorry. We've got this sort of black color, this deep red, white, uh, what looks to be a sort of like gunmetal gray color, this blue, which looks absolutely gorgeous, and this like plum purple color. Oh my god, Mopar vibes for days on that one. Also, a really, really interesting PCB. This, this is going to be the primary focus of the topic on this board. And partially my concerns with it, but also potentially really interesting stuff with the typing experience. So, again, 319 bucks gets you in on this bare bones. This is basically right on the lower end of what I would consider a high-end bare bones uh, custom mechanical keyboard. The mid-range is sort of a nebulous area with this market, and it doesn't tend to exist a whole lot of the time. When it does, they're bangers. But with a board like this, we're we're dealing with a slightly different 75% layout. You can see it's not as collapsed in on the right-hand side over here as a traditional 75%. Instead, this is, <coughs> excuse me, only about one U narrower than a typical TKL. So you're not necessarily saving a ton of room on your desk with this board. You are, however, preserving some more of your nav keys off to the side here. So you get two more than you'd get with the typical 75%. You also get a tiny OLED panel off to the right hand side here, which is cute and potentially useful or potentially just uh, a visual appeal thing that you can custom program into your keyboard. Uh, again, 75% layout, we have this beautiful weight on the bottom of the keyboard and the USB-C daughter board is actually embedded into this weight which sits in the bottom of the case, which again provides us with maximum opportunities for flex without disrupting our USB-C port. Now, the flex cuts for this 1.2 millimeter thick PCB are interesting. They appear to be done per key within the primary alpha cluster, while the rest of the keyboard only has a single relief cut sort of isolating the rest of the alphas uh, in the main cluster from the number row and or from the F row on the top. I'm a little concerned about what this is going to feel and sound like, especially given this is a relatively thin PCB. If these cuts are thin enough, we may have preserved enough acoustic quality with this PCB that this may still be a decent sounding board. But more interesting is that the two plate options you have available for this don't really have the same kind of relief cuts in them. So I'm curious as to why they made those individual decisions, but we do have access to polycarbonate and FR4 plates for this keyboard. Now, we again have a mirror polished PVD aluminum weight on the bottom. Uh, this thing is, this thing is heckin' beautiful. Like, I gotta say, it's so ridiculous to have this kind of money spent on an accessory part of your keyboard, but I have to admit, this just looks absolutely beautiful and I would love to have this on my desk personally. Again, seven degree typing angle, but you notice what's going on here with the side profile. We've got a sort of modified uh, rectangle on wedge design going on here. Nothing super out of the norm, but there's this middle piece that's part of the overall board construction and it's called a mid frame. It acts not only as a guide to self, help sort of align everything together, but it also creates this really nice color accent based on the color of the board you're getting. It makes the break between the top and the bottom case look much more intentional than it otherwise might look on maybe a, a lower end version of the same style of keyboard. I really like the accent here, uh, but that there is again no accounting for personal taste of course. Also, the look of this board from behind just looks insane. We have a sound test here on the website and the rest of the information is here if you want to take a closer look. OG60 is the last group buy board going up as part of KBD fans Black Friday Cyber Monday stuff. This is going for $240 as a bare bones and for a 60% for some folks that might be quite a bit to swallow but you're actually getting quite a bit of board here for your $240. First of all, you have very soft, muted colorways for this keyboard. Um, one criticism of the site, whoever put the text up here, can we please get some kind of 
shadowing behind the text so that we can read this a little bit more clearly. It's actually kind of painful uh, personally for me to read. Maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. Anyway, this particular 60% is modeled after the prototype Cherry G80 3077SAU keyboard. Now this Basically, if you're if you're looking for a more contemporary mass-produced version of this, basically uh, any of Cherry's uh, old-school 1800s-style keyboards uh, would sort of fit the profile of the aesthetic that the OG60 is looking to capture. And in my opinion, they absolutely nailed it, at least uh, according to the shots that are seen here. Now, three colors are gray, blue, creamy white, and starry black with three layout options, win keyless, win key, and HHKV, depending on the kind of aesthetic and or functionality you're looking for. This also comes with FR4 and polycarbonate switch plates. This does appear to again be utilizing either gasket mount or top mount implementation, just like the Odin 75 is using. We have all the different foam options that you could possibly need, as well as the brass uh, weight insert in the bottom. These images are not renders. I want to drive that home. These are actual prototypes of functional boards. These look absolutely timelessly good. The only thing, just looking at it right now, that I admittedly would have liked to see is a pen rail along the top of the number cluster just to give us a little bit more functionality with all that five head, but I cannot deny it, this board looks absolutely stunningly good, timeless good looks, is something to note about the PCB. If you're going with ISO layout, you will need to clip the stems on two of your switches if you plan on using five pin switches because two of the sockets unfortunately do require three pin switches, meaning you would clip the plastic pins on the switch. Again, the rest of the information is here. And then again, there's just, there's so much to go over that's available in the sale. Uh, I wouldn't even be able to fathom going over it in any reasonable amount of time. So I will leave it that there is just a ton to pick through here and almost enough that you could probably nearly build an entire keyboard out of the sale they have going on. So again, uh, dates for all of that and the links are in the stream's description. Mode keyboards. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. They're, there's a lot going on with mode, okay? If you're a fan of the signal or reflex uh, switches that they were using previously, they're having a 30% off sale on those, including Duroc T1 switches. Now, again, that is through modedesigns.com. Um, their switch line is getting a refresh uh, starting, uh, starting with Black Friday when they actually launch their, uh, their themes pre-orders, where again, we've gone over this in previous news, but this is functionally a full suite of everything from keycaps onto wall and digital art to match a total setup aesthetic and vibe with sort of everything going on in your, in your workspace. It's a really interesting idea. I would actually love to get some of this stuff in to see how this plays out, especially with a setup like mine, kind of a unique application for, for it. Excuse me, again, 30% off the original switches they've got. As part of the theme's launch, there are full cap sets. Those full cap sets are gonna be just $72. Now, if you didn't catch these on the previous live stream, let me just drive home to you how extensive and how good a value $72 is for these caps. Now, take this with a grain of salt. These are still unknowns in the industry. We have not actually seen modes caps yet, but $72 with the reputation that precedes them, I can't imagine this is anything but an amazing deal. We've also got 10% off any Mode 65 parts. So any of you Mode 65 owners out there that are looking to maybe freshen up your existing 65 with some other parts that maybe are still in stock, here's your chance to get a sale on those. Mode 80, 10% off. That maybe doesn't sound like a terribly large amount, but considering the board starts at $400, that's 40 bucks off. And considering what you get with the Mode 80, I actually consider that to be a pretty decent deal. So also consider spend $200 free shipping and 50% off shipping for international orders, plus an additional 5% off if your order hits $500 or more. 
If you spend enough time on Mode's website, trust me, very easy to do. So Mode, again, has some killer sales going on. Again, those are starting Black Friday through the 28th, and the links are down below. Now, Canon Keys is having absurd sales on fully built keyboards with some caveats in there, of course, but they're reasonable caveats. They're doing sales on fully built custom keyboards ranging from their entire brutal lineup, ranging from as far down the list as the 40% Vicious all the way up to their brand new Malicious and Brutal V2 65% keyboards and including the Wrecked, the Devastating, the Obliterated, the Savage, V1, the Brutal, it's all included in the sale and the pricing is outstanding. Uh, especially if you're looking at something like the Malicious, 209 bucks for the board with the stabilizers, keycaps, and switches. Now, granted, some of these deals are going to be restricted on the switches that you're using. Typically, you'll be restricted to things like maybe Gatoron G Pro switches or something along those lines, but those are really solid switches for the money. Let me tell you folks what. Now, you can add on more expensive options if you want to. They've run sales like this in recent history. They had a lot of success with them. I'm really happy they're bringing these back in such fiercely competitive fashion for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Now, all of the Brutal V1 keyboards are top-mounted keyboards and typically utilize an FR4 plate. So you're gonna get a very specific acoustic profile out of this board especially considering that with these boards, they supply you with polyfill for the case infill instead of foam. So it's an interesting board to build in. And of course it has a seven degree typing angle, but uh, on top of that, they're, they're including $99 GMK cap sets with these boards. They're also doing $29 mystery keycaps and buy one, get one free on the nice PBT and Canon Caps collection. So yeah, if there was ever a time you were looking for any of their die sub caps at the best deal possible, this is definitely gonna be the time to do it. They're also bringing in $10 mystery desk mats. If you take a look at their desk mat offerings, they've got some really, really cute stuff here. Uh, they've got the extras for the Ghost Cap Set, Orange Boy Extras, City Sunset, Winter Breath is a really cool looking desk mat, especially for this time of year. Uh, the desk mat that matches the Enchanted Forest keycaps, maybe that's an option for you to go in on. Fuji desk mats, they've got the works here. If there's a mood you're looking for, odds are they've got it. Uh, also, premium boards. The premium boards are going on Uber sale, and the main one out of all of these, the Ayala, the Onyx, the Angel, the Timo V2 Round 2, the Sagittarius is the one I really, really need to point out. Um, mostly because this is actually kind of a bucket list keyboard for my personal collection. Um, yes, I do kind of consider myself an, uh, an aspiring keyboard collector at this point, but the Sagittarius has probably one of the most unique layouts I have seen in the sort of Aris, Arisu style split keyboard, in that not only does it lack the B on the right hand side, which might potentially be an interesting typing challenge for some folks, but it also has a more gradual curve than a typical Alice style keyboard. If we look, at how a typical Alice style keyboard is structured, you can see that it's got a much uh, sharper cutoff when the curve starts, which makes the angle and appearance of the keyboard look a little bit more uh, exaggerated or maybe less exaggerated in this case, because honestly, you look at, you look at this keyboard by comparison and it just looks night and day. It is also physically larger because the two halves are split apart a little bit further. This board is interesting because it puts you in a typing position where you sort of have to square off your shoulders more. So you're more aware of your posture and your arms are spread out a little bit further. This overall might actually be remarkably comfortable for typing and at a typing angle of less than six degrees, 5.67 to be exact, this is oddly specific by the way. Uh, 
really, really interesting keyboard and one that I very much would love to add to my collection for better or for worse. Um, to understand there's a few interesting quirks with this board and I would honestly like to discover those as well because that's all part of the journey. Really interesting layout options down here up to and including the addition of an arrow cluster if you want to add that in or not. You can just have some chonky deep sounding boys down here. You can do split space bar, ISO layout, the works. This is a really great board to go in on. It's only going to be 350 down from the 570 that the current B stock options are. So note about B stock. There may be some visual, visible blemishes somewhere on the exterior of the keyboard. That's the point of B-Stock. I don't know if this sale is going to encompass any A or A-minus stock they've been holding onto for this purpose. It's likely it's going to be all B-Stock though. So just manage expectations with, with this particular sale. But still, $350 bucks for a Sagittarius. That's $235 off the normal price, man. That's a great deal to go in on. Now... More great deals, uh, spaceholdings.net, formerly known as Space Cables by the rest of y'all, is having Black Friday, Cyber Monday going on, I believe, right now. Yes, it's all going on right now. 25% off most in-stock items. That includes the very good Bad Seed Space Desk Pad. My wife is using my example right now on her workspace, on her desk. It's a great option, especially for those of you that maybe are a little bit messier at your desk and want something that hides the mess a little bit better. You gotta, you gotta be honest with yourselves about how we are at our desks, you know? Lube stations are also 25% off. I use their lube station in all of my projects. It is a huge help for keeping things organized for me. Uh, maybe that's an ADHD thing, but I do enjoy using their lube station. Now, while the Stellar 65 and Stellar 12 proper are not on sale, the Stellar 65 Night Runner Edition is on sale, and I did not mean to add that to my cart. But we are going to go back and take a quick look at that, because guess what? This is the Stellar 65, just in green and on sale. <laughs> so if you enjoy Stellar 65 and you're down to get specifically the Night Runner Edition, it is here for you to avail yourselves of. I personally would love to be able to get one of these under my tree for Christmas. The green color would of course go with the traditional white on black keycap set. White on black would probably look really good on this as well. Or anything else that has any green tones in it. Or yellow honestly would probably look really good on this too. You've got a bunch of options is my point here. And it's less expensive than the normal Stellar 65, but that is also in stock if you want to avail yourself of that. They also have some other desk mat and keycap options in stock, including Milky Way Retro Lights, which is a really cool die sub PBT cap set that invokes some of those um, some of those old school Mac OS light mode uh, uh, feels. Because when you look at it and you realize, oh yes, oh my God, th this is Mac OS light mode. Um, yeah, it, like it's a retro set, but it's also kind of modern in that way. Uh, yeah, really cool cap set, really extensive base kitting, especially for under 65 bucks. Man, that's a that's a great cap set to go on. There's some other uh, there's some other kits you can go in on as well, uh, mainly the international kit or just the gray base kit. The icon kit's currently sold out. Big sad, but lots of stuff here to take advantage of. 25% off. Again, the links for this and everything else are in the stream and video's description, as well as the dates for when everything is going on. Again, this one is going on right now. Also going on right now, OmniType, Black Friday through Cyber Monday, started back on the 20th, 30% off site-wide, plus up to an additional 20% off, depending on how much you're spending. Let me just draw your attention to all of the GMK cap sets they have here that are normally extremely difficult to find. Now, GMK boob two, I know it's 8008, but that's boob on a calculator. And this cap set, if you weren't aware, was inspired by the look of a Nike sports bra. So it's boob. But for this, the original salmon colorway is only available in the standard kitting options right now. Blue, however, 
has basically all of the kitting available for it. The only thing you can't get with blue is the command and obscure caps. And unfortunately the obscure caps are sold out. So big sad for 40s fans. The command caps are still here if you want the different look of those specific keycaps for your build, but you can still build everything out with uh, blue as your base aesthetic. Hello all, I can't stay today, but I uh, wanted to swing by and wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for stopping by, Joe. Hope you're having a happy Thanksgiving, bud. Thanks for stopping by, man. So yeah, sub $100 on a GMK cap set. Always love to see that. And GMK8008 round two is definitely a banger to go in on. We also have GMK minimal two, which basically, as you can see in the close-ups, issues the secondary legends from the keycaps, only leaving the primary or top legend on the keycap. Really interesting look for that kitting. Uh, we also have GMK redacted base kits in stock. This basically gets you to ride around where the initial group buy pricing was. Not as good a deal on this one. However, redacted is oftentimes at best difficult to find. So having access to it here is nice. The only thing you can't currently get is the space bars, but all the rest of the kitting is available for this. We also have access to GMK Pono down here. Again, basically around the group buy price. Also, sick desk mats are part of the sale as well as the 8008 ink switches. This is the big one I wanted to touch on because these being on sale at 1838 for 35 cents a switch, let's pull up the calculator and see what that works out to. 1838 divided by 35 brings us to about 53 cents a switch for what is basically an opaque ink switch that matches GMK8008. But they also took it a step further and they took the spring from a gator on yellow and put it in here. So this is a nice firm but bouncy and lively linear switch that isn't often in stock. This is definitely one if you're looking for a solid linear switch option, I would definitely go in on this one. Normally they are significantly more expensive than that, especially considering this is a really unique ink housing and that they had to go back to the drawing board to figure out how to make it a verifiably bona fide ink housing while still being opaque to match this colorway. Now, do you want to touch on some sales of MechanicalKeyboards.com? There are some what appear to be decent sales here, and I love the folks at MechanicalKeyboards.com, but I got to tell you, straight up, some of these, when you go to look at the boards that are part of this sale, literally everything that's in this category is sold out. So a bunch of these sales don't actually matter for online purposes, at least. But I did want to go ahead and at least point out that we are currently having a sale on Ducky keyboards, Philco keyboards, if that's your jam, not personally my cup of tea, but Philco does at least have a sturdy feeling board. Uh, any of the in-stock KBD fan stuff, including Tiger Light, which is the board we again built with a little while back on stream and that we are currently using today. We've also got some Keychron discounts, 10% off there with these codes. The links for, the, for this and everything else are in the description. Also, more importantly, 10% off all accessories. And in the accessories category, that includes switches. And in the switches category includes MK's own switches, which are probably the most interesting option they currently carry, in my opinion. That includes the Holy Llama and the Purple Slutch, which are themed after the collaborative ducky colorway they made on their Frozen Llama keycap set, which is one of my all-time favorite cap sets, by the way. Each of these are really comfy switches. I have an, an example of one of each of them in-house. They are they're really nice stock. They're factory lubed. You get a better pricing on them as you buy larger quantities of the switch. So you definitely want to buy more than fewer, but at 45 cents a switch, once you get to 11 orders and up, these are quantities of 10 you're buying at a time. Um, it's just great to have that many on hand, especially so you can bin out the ones that have more or less things like spring ping because the tactiles do have a little bit of that, but some of them may have less or more than others depending on how they were lubed. Great feeling switches, great sounding switches. So definitely want to get out on that sale. And again, make sure you check out with creator code the Manic Geek on your way out at mechanicalkeyboards.com because that does give us a kick back at the channel and it helps us continue to produce this content. Now, moving on. 
Novel Keys is having a huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. The details are linked again in the stream video's description, but they are starting at, at midnight, Friday, November 25th. That is Eastern. So remember on the Pacific coast, that's going to be 9 p.m. the night before. So a little bit better timing for us on the, on the Pacific coast, but this is midnight Eastern and will run until 11.59 Eastern on Monday, November 28th. There are doorbuster deals for every day, but the one I want to point your attention to most is the GMK base kits for $89 for tomorrow, so midnight tonight, and the NK65 Olivia edition for $99, and we'll come back to those in a bit, but hold on to those because those are probably some of the most important deals here. They've also got general sales going on throughout the entire website. Most of the GMK base kits are at least going to be right at or below $100. GMK Striker is gonna be at $110 for the base kit. Striker slaps, that is the blue keycap set for GMK keycap, yeah, keycap. Words are hard, connoisseur. Most of the Cherry PBT sets, except for these ones down here, $50. Let me just, let me just point out that I am using Cherry PBT blue, on, uh, blue, purple and blue on white on this KBD light right here. I got this set on a sale like this for $50. If you're looking at any of the Cherry sets, that Novel Keys makes, and you've been mulling it over for a bit, and you've got 50 bucks to spend on this plus shipping, don't even blink, just do it. These are banger cap sets with outstanding stock kitting, and all of them are in one base kit. Really, really solid key caps. Uh, they, 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 are, they are a must have in your key cap collect collection, at least one of their sets. Now, Spellbook and Ghostbustin are a little bit more expensive. Those are um, those are licensed products, and that's also why the Star Wars stuff is not going on a tremendous sale. Uh, One ninety nine for all Star Wars sets. Licensing through uh, Lucas Arts is not inexpensive. Also, the kit, the tooling to produce some of these caps had to have been absurdly expensive. Anyway. Also got some deals on bare bones keyboards. We've got some deals on switches, 30% off all their switches. Jeebus Lord, that is a huge switch sale. I think that's the biggest switch sale on the list. If I recall correctly, all of their desk pads, $10. I have some novel keys desk pads. They are outstanding build quality. They are built remarkably tough. Um, I actually just cleaned off my Godspeed desk mat from them. Um, absolute banger of a desk mat. They've got sale. They've got a sale going on switch films, lubes, their screw-in stabilizers. Uh, remember, we want to avoid those unless they remove the NK logo from the back of the stabilizer stem. Uh, and then a bunch of other just novelty stuff that they have. NK87 plates, uh, stuff, for, uh, stuff for Heine keyboards, some of their merch is on sale as well. But let's get into the stuff I would recommend looking at specifically. First, NK87 Entry Edition. Now, again, this is going to be on sale, 99 bucks. Normally, 135. At 99 dollars for the NK87, not having that overly tight aluminum uh, switch plate that the that the aluminum edition has, but having all of the rest of the same features. This is the way I would go. At $99, it would be very hard to find a higher quality uh, pre-built than this one. Or at least it makes this one certainly worth considering on your short list if maybe your options and preferences lean a slightly different way. You've got some really cool colorways here, as you can see. I personally am partial to this blue color, but we already knew that. Uh, also, this particular blue is really nice. Also got a really nice... Uh, sort of transparent color here. We've got this matte creamy white, black and purple at $99, definitely the way to go. NK65 Olivia Edition. When I tell you at $99, this is a banger of a board. I cannot stress that enough. This is an entire keyboard you're getting. This is not just a bare bones experience. You are getting, excuse me a moment, 
Oh, love beer. You are getting the board, the stabilizers, the switches, which are factory lubed, and the caps for $99. I mean, I'm reading that correctly, right? For this Saturday doorbuster deal. $99 for this. If you can get in on this and you were even just dreaming of this board, but the 250 was a bridge too far at $100, this is downright, you must go in on this, if for no other reason than it is just a very pretty board to add to a collection, or to present as a gift to folks, because there's two different colorways you can go about this. We've got the light option here, which represents the more traditional Olivia colorway and aesthetic, as well as the dark colorway, which represents the dark Olivia base kit. Now, this was as far as I know, done in collaboration with the original designer for Olivia. Also important to note, these are DSS profile keycaps. So, as you'll see in these images here, they do have a bit of a sculpture to them and they have a spherical top, but it has a taper in that's more like SA at the top of it rather than like DS rather than DSA which has maybe a broader face to it and lacks sculpting. So this is an interesting profile and should be very comfy to type with on this keyboard given the seven degree typing angle here. Either colorway looks sick. I personally love the dark colorway, but light looks really good as well. Light actually looks almost a bit more professional than the dark one. This one almost makes more sense in like a gamery aesthetic, but again, $99, you can't go wrong with that. And we'll just take a quick look at some of the lovely GMK keycaps that they have going on in here. So, again, most GMK base kits, $89. Boba Fett, The Mandalorian, and Striker will not be included in that in these sales. That's important to note. So if you were interested in those, those are part of the Star Wars set sales. But for everything else, you've got GMK Color Chrome. You've got the GMK Mr. Sleeves add-ons that are, that are going on sale. GMK Bento Round 2, Dots Round 2. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got, uh, what are some other GMK sets? Uh, Sakira, Yuri Round 2, Grand Prix, Mudbeam, Space Cadet 2. There are some banger sets in between this and their own house cherry sets. Like Cherry Blossom looks amazing. Cherry Peabow we of course took a look at. We already know this is a banger. Uh, Cherry Spellbook is on its own sale, but again, banger of a beige cap set. Yeah, just lots to like about the Novel Keys sale. Really big. Next up, if you were looking for a bespoke custom cable, something to take your setup to the next level, if you're already set up with your keyboard and the rest of the stuff around it, maybe check out Bear Cables. They're having a sale that's going on starting now through Monday. 15% off your entire purchase with code BF15. Again, that's B as in boy, F as in Frank, 1-5 at checkout gets you 15% off your entire purchase. Now, if you're wondering, well, why should I take your word on it? Well, it's because I actually own a cable from Bear Cables. This is a straight YC8 connector with a uh, carbon fiber gray um, mesh uh, sleeve on the outside and a white, I believe this was a white sleeving on the inside. Uh, the YC8 connector here is basically a, uh, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's like a clip sleeve type interface version of an aviator connector that's just a little bit easier to take apart. Uh, it does unfortunately lack the external keying to let you know where exactly you should be plugging it in correctly, but you sort of get used to it after a while. It's also much lower profile than an aviator connector, and it's probably my favorite cable that I have gotten in to date. And you can order it in a myriad selection of colors. Uh, you can also get different connector colors. There's different styles of connector. There's also the shorty braided straight cables you can get, which I am a huge fan of. And I'm trying to get my setup done in a way that I can actually get one of these ordered in the copper color way for maybe a project that I'm currently working on. 
<laughs> on the side, but yeah, these cables are absolutely sick and I can personally attest to the customer service and the caliber of that customer service with their cables. It is bar none some of the best I have seen in the industry. Uh, I actually experienced a problem with my cable when I first got it in and these folks uh, were able to get me sorted out no problem. And again, uh, since I didn't have the screen up for it, that braided straight cable, it's that bare sort of like, sort of raw looking cable look. And there's something about it that I just really, really vibe with. So if you were looking for a great deal on a cable, Bear Cable Company has some great stuff going on as well. Uh, again, BF15 through Monday gets you 15% off your entire order. Another local vendor, Vala Supply, is having quite the sale themselves. 25% off all pre-orders from the 25th through the 27th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Now, what do we mean by pre-orders? We mean group buys that are in the process of being fulfilled, but has extras that are going to be coming into the vendor from those group buys. And there is a lot to pick from that's really spicy here. Uh, let's start off with DSS Carpinteria. Uh, if you were looking for those sort of like dark blue and sort of sunset orangey colors on your cap set, something that's sort of invoking like, like twilight hour without leaning into the spooky aspect of it, this is absolutely a cap set you're going to want to go in on. Uh, looks like only the base kit, the Mac kit, and the switches are currently available for pre-order, but while the base kitting doesn't have full split spacebar support, it does give you enough of the shift keys that you could still make this work on a split board if you really wanted to. And the switches are kind of interesting for this. They are a tactile switch based off the KTT Matcha with a five pin housing, 50 gram elongated spring and manufactured by KTT. These should be extremely good switches if tactiles are your bag. We've got a ton of other options as well. Cat Overgrown is actually a cap set that's been on my bucket list for a minute now. And it looks like basically everything except for the desk mats and the artisan keycaps is gonna be available for this sale. Now you've got a couple of different base kit options here, but what's nice about most cat cap sets is this is a profile that allows you to have a lot of flexibility in the kitting that's offered. And if you want to lean into uh, one of three different alpha cluster colorways, you can do so and then mix match it with your own set of TKL based modifiers and then expand it to include things like a numpad in your theme of choice, uh, 40 support if you want to, um, <clears throat> bortho support if you want to go that route. You basically have it all here and you can make exactly the set you want. I don't know, there's something about the look of the profile and the look of these caps in particular, and yes, I know these are renders. I would really love to get this cap set in, and I feel like this is something that would definitely be interesting to have in your personal lineup. Even if you just lean into the constructed base with the gray tones, that's a really attractive looking cap set, you have to admit. You have to admit, even if you don't like it. Okay, Bolsa Supply. 15% off switches, 20% off keycaps, 25% off everything else. This includes a Midway 60 B stock sale, Bolsalis in stock extras will be going live, and a desk mat restock, including a lot of their spicier options. This will be from 11 from uh, November 25th at 10 a.m. until November 28th at 11:59 p.m. These times are Pacific. Now, Bolsa Supply has some really cool product in the house, including the Corsa Switch. The Corsa Switch is something that is sort of akin to <clears throat> a, uh, as I understand it, it's akin to something like a, yeah, a mid-tactile, MX Clear inspired bump. So if you're familiar with that, this is sort of what this is like. And it utilizes a 60 gram gold plated slow spring, which means it's probably a little bit on the elongated side or has some change under the coils to front load more of the actuation weight. I'm willing to wager this is one of the most comfy tactile switches out there. Sold in packs of 35, these are going to be 15% off. 
as well as the rest of the switches in here, including their kale blacks. Now, what's important to note about these, if you are a Franken switch fan, these particular kale blacks are using the original old stem mold, which as I understand it, makes these particular linear stems extremely sought after for doing Franken switch things. So if you were looking to do the Franken switch thing, but you didn't want to spend a ton on these switches to make it happen, and you were lamenting the loss of the original mold for these stems, here you go, they're back at Bolsa Supply. And they've got a bunch of other cool stuff here too. Namazu switches, Techno Violets I've recommended as well. They carry Cherry MX as well, if that's your bag. I'm not gonna discriminate, not a personal favorite of mine, but I do still wanna do some builds with Cherry switches in the near future. Again, desk mats, also part of the sale. Desk mats are going to be part of as a restock, as I'm seeing it, 25% off. Now, as, I'm, as I've read it, the Irizumi desk mats are supposed to be part of this restock. These are some of the sickest desk mats I have ever seen in my entire life. I have never been, I have never been so frustrated that I am not working during the holidays because there is just some amazing things going on sale and these Irizumi desk mats being among them, being 25% off potentially, even if they're not, they're coming back in stock and they're not in stock often. So it's definitely something you wanna pay attention to. As far as keycaps go, remember there is Milky Way, Demon Girl and PBT White on Black Hiragana gonna be in here as well. That is part of the 20% off keycap sale. Demon Girl is just a really cute base cap set. And it's got some pretty nice compatibility out of the box, if we're being honest here. Uh, split, split space bar stuff. You've got some limited 40 support going on here. Really, really good standard kitting. And at 20% off, you, yeah, that's, that's going to be great. That's going to be really great. So... Moving on, Moyu Studios. This one kind of rolled in at the last minute. 20% off all in-stock and pre-order items and free shipping on orders over $188 now until November 30th. So this one's going on a little bit longer than most of the deals here. But again, Moyu Studios. Links for this is down in the stream and videos description. Everything that is in stock and pre-order. So this includes things like the Musetsu switch, which admittedly I don't know a ton about, but it is something that is going into pre-order apparently. More interestingly, I wanted to touch on the Gatoron cream soda switch that's in pre-order. Now, this is a more expensive switch, but as a pre-order, this is part of the 20% off sale. So that should take some, actually a fairly substantial amount of the sting out of purchasing these switches, which are normally 75 cents a pop. But what's interesting about this switch, aside from the fact that it does invoke thoughts of cream soda, is the composition of the switch. It utilizes an ink bottom housing with a long pole stem and a milky top housing, as well as a very comfy 63 gram spring. Now. While I have personally not used ink switches on a daily driver board here, I have experienced ink housings for myself, and I can tell you that with the Gatoron Milky Top and a long pole stem, ooh, man, this is gonna be a banger of a switch, and definitely one that if you want to add to your switch collection and have something that's just genuinely interesting and probably really good sounding and feeling, this is one to keep your eyes on. But again, everything that is pre-order and in stock, 20% off right now, it's not listed like that. But when you add it to your cart, it shows up. For example, we will add a batch of 10, which would be what I would buy, normally subtotal $75. Once we go to the cart, Black Friday promotion gets applied, comes to $60. That brings us down to a much more sane territory of pricing for this Switch pre-order and is definitely something that I would be comfy with going in on. So again, sale is live now. Don't freak out if you're not seeing it. It is there, it's just, you gotta do some, you gotta add things to the cart to see it. The other interesting Switch I wanted to point out on this sale is the Forgive Switch. Now I have no idea why it's called this. 
but it's from G Concept and manufactured from a company called LC Electronics. I'm not actually familiar with this switch producer, but they're doing something really cheeky with the design of this switch. The stem rail is in the top housing of the switch, not the bottom housing. So bottom housing design on this is actually more closely related to a kale box switch than it is a traditional cherry switch in that way, but it's still using a standard uh, copper cross point contact system on the inside. So that part still remains the same. But the thought here is that having the slide rails in the top housing will make for a sturdier, firmer feeling stem without it binding or feeling overly tight in the housing and supposedly results in a smoother feel. Now, this is a three pin switch. So anyone who is thinking of doing plateless with this, don't apply here. You need five pin and a soldered PCB if you're doing plateless stuff or even half plate stuff. But anyone else, you're probably good to go with this switch. This is a full polycarbonate housing with a palm stem, 63 and a half gram spring, four millimeters of travel. So this is not necessarily a long pole stem, but very pretty switch nonetheless. And supplies are currently dwindling. So again, this is part of the sale. So 5091 for the 110 piece set, go ahead and add it to the cart. Let's take a look what that comes out to. Under $41 for 110 switches. That ain't too shabby. So, Moyu Studio, 20% off sale. You'll see it when you add it to the cart. This one also came in at zero hour. Divinity, Black Friday, Cyber Monday from the 24th through the 28th. 15% off site wide. No code required. It's just happening. Hooray! Now, it's up to 15%, so not everything is going to match that. Like, say for instance, Tiger Light, 10% off. Not the full 15%, but that was to be expected. Go Polar's Azure Dragon V2 Tactiles are part of the sale at 15% off. JWIC Bluey Linears, AE Board Stabies, 11% off. Oil Kings, 15% off here. But remember, Stupid Bullets Tech actually has a better deal on Oil Kings, so if you're wanting to buy some, hit your boy up. 43 Studio Obsidian Long Linears, 15% off. KS3 Milky Yellow Pros, these switches are absolute bangers. And at 357, 357 for a pack of 18, that is solid value. These are factory lubed, these have the new polished internals from Gatoron. Outstanding switch line. Definitely a budget banger if you want to go in on it. And there's so much to cover in Divinity Key's portfolio. I couldn't possibly even fathom it right now. But keep in mind, Divinity Key is the, one of the US suppliers for a lot of the KBD fan stuff that comes through. So if there was any KBD fan specific supplies you wanted, like plate foam, switch foam, stuff like that, tend, tend to carry that here as well, as well as switch lubing supplies. Now, Glorious is having something of a Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, very steep discounts on bundles, but they're door buster deals. And you're gonna want to follow the link that's in the stream or video's description, depending on where you're watching this, to sign up to let you know when these deals go live and they will start going live as of midnight tonight. When the deals go live, you'll want to add them to the cart prior to actually being able to check out with it. Uh, the link I have gives all of the details on this, so you definitely wanna make sure you read this, but there are some potentially absurd deals to be had here. Again, up to 70% off. Uh, what seems to be just about everything in their website, including keyboard accessories with being able to get keycaps for as low as 750. Uh, that's probably their, uh, their Aura keycaps, their, their more baseline shine through stuff, but even still 750 for a set of caps. I mean, if you just need to get up and going, the sets aren't terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, the sets aren't terrible and at 750, you can do a hell of a lot worse than that, let me tell you. But definitely want to keep your eye on this. And if Glorious is your bag, definitely make sure you sign up for notices on that. Last but certainly not least, the homies at Odin Gaming offering up to 60% off across the site. This includes Aurora 65 at 15% off. 
50% off their Infinity uh, mouse pad and 20% off Andromeda starts at 9 p.m. Pacific, 1124 at odinpc.com. So, the Aurora 65. This is their newest iteration of what used to be the Nova 65. Now, unfortunately, we haven't been able to use the Nova 65 we had in-house because I encountered an unfortunate issue with my PCB. And by the time both parties got around to trying to figure it all out, they discontinued the board and this was being made. I am apparently getting one of these in at some point to take a look at. I am, however, not fussed about it. I understand they need to take care of their customers first before they take care of who is functionally a contest winner. But the Aurora 65, as I have seen, it has gotten some pretty decent reviews and getting 15% off of this board certainly puts it in a much more competitive position against the current crop of 65% gasket mount keyboards that are up there. So, definitely want to keep your eyes on this, and if you've been interested in their Infinity Hybrid mouse pad, um, 50% <laughs> off Infinities, folks. Uh, <laughs> these are, these are crazy. These are crazy. They're crazy. Like, they're, they're so massive. <laughs> um, and and I, I especially love the design of this Alex Odos mat. Uh, this is really nice. So definitely get in on the 50% deals here. Odin game, OdinPC.com for huge Odin PC sales. Um, really excited about this and every other Black Friday sale that I was able to scrounge up today. Now, bear in mind, this is not a fully comprehensive list. There are likely many other deals out there that I might have missed. Deals from other vendors that maybe slipped under the radar. I'm certain folks like Voxel Mods are probably having some deals going on for their sites as well, potentially on Small Business Saturday. Maybe keep an eye out on Saturday for some of the deals from smaller businesses that you're more familiar with in your region. But for right now, that is our rapid fire coverage of all of the upcoming and current deals we were able to scrounge up for Black Friday and Cyber Monday in the world of keycap switches and custom mechanical keyboards. Once again, this has been The Manic Geek. Thank you for so much for joining us today and taking a break from your Thanksgiving festivities. Remember, this VOD is going to remain live through Cyber Monday. So if you missed the live stream, don't worry. We have everything linked down in the VOD's description. And one more time, remember, they're just keyboards. Don't spend money you don't have access to. Even though I understand a lot of these deals are insanely good. Trust me, I am so... I am so bummed that I can't go in on basically any of this stuff right now, but I know if I was to do that, I would put myself in a worse position than I'm already in. So spend responsibly, spend within your means, but also spend to enjoy the hobby that we have all come to know and love. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your holiday season, and we will join you next time when we return to our live streams on Twitch and YouTube. Take care, everybody.